Hello, hello, bonsoir. J'espère que tout le monde va bien. On se retrouve pour continuer l'IU. Salut ma chip. Donc acte 2 du chapitre 1. Non, acte 2, chapitre 1. Bah ça va, ça va. Ouais, j'ai pas... J'étais pas très motivée hier soir, je suis désolée. Parce que vu que je suis partie quand même euh, récupérer ma bagnole, et bah j'ai pas trouvé la motivation euh, hier. Euh, j'ai une petite, une petite soirée pépouze. <rire> Donc voilà. Ça arrive, ça arrive. Mais je suis là, maintenant. Et toi, ça va du coup euh, me téléporter. Ouais, là, bon, enfin, oui, du coup, j'ai ouais, j'ai toujours des problèmes avec la voiture. Le problème, c'est qu'on ne sait pas ce qu'elle a. <rire> du coup, je suis revenue de Bordeaux avec. Et elle est retombée en panne euh, pas loin de chez moi. Donc c'était génial. Je m'en serais bien passé. <rire> Il est où le trait Ah, avec les deux côtés. Et ouais, c'est comme ça. Hein. Quand on a la poisse, on l'a pour un petit temps. <rire> du coup, obligé d'aller au boulot en, en moto là. J'espère qu'il va pas pleuvoir. <rire> Ah, je me... ce serait la totale cible. Oui, je suis une moutarde. Mais heureusement que j'ai la moto, hein, parce que sinon je sais pas ce que... comment j'aurais fait. Hop, c'est parti. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> That tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Ah, pour la log de voiture, j'ai regardé, mais ça coûte cher. Hein. Ça coûte très cher. Oh, je suis tombée. Qu'est-ce que j'ai J'avais même pas vu qu'il y avait un bassin. Ah. Ah, du coup, j'ai investi dans une sacoche de réservoir pour ma moto. Ça fera l'affaire. Ça fera l'affaire. Enfin, croisons les doigts parce qu'elle arrive euh, demain. Ah, sir, The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. 
Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else, but there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before! Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Uh, well, allow me. Heureusement qu'il est là pour payer, parce que là on n'avait plus rien. Hey, it's child! <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. Ouais, c'est plutôt faire payer les autres qu'il aime bien faire. Tata Glia, <laughs> salut Julien. <laughs> Comment tu vas? Tu l'as? Je savais pas qu'on pouvait l'avoir en personne. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Alors, euh, trouver trois ouvriers. Hey C'est parti en vlà. Hein? Bon alors, comment ça va, Julien Oh, help Sure. I tick. Always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. 
They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. Non, j'ai pas mis l'écran de pause. Euh, tu me l'avais envoyé sur quoi d'ailleurs Discord ou autre chose Ah non, c'était sur Discord, je crois que tu me l'avais envoyé. Je, je, je le ferai juste après. Ou je l'efface. No problem. That'll be 20,000 more for a single trip. How does that sound Non, non, boude pas, de toute façon là je l'aurais pas mis l'écran de pause parce que. Enfin, euh, en tout cas pendant le jeu. Parce que là je fais une petite heure, on va dire, euh, de gaming. Donc euh, c'est pas hyper long euh, pour pouvoir faire une pause. <rire> Done. Mais j'aime bien ce que t'as fait. Donc t'en fais pas, je le mets juste après la, le, le stream. Et si vous le fasse <rire> oh, come on! That's too little! <rire> Alors, il a pas voulu. Oh, come on! That's too little! Je suis en train de l'énerver! <rire> eh, c'est de la négociation ou pas? Euh... You're mad! And to think I was so willing to bargain too. 20,000 mora, and not one mora less. If not. The deal's off. Oh merde! <laughs> Plapo! Oh la vache! Hey, don't get mad! Oh, guess we have no choice but to pay in full. <laughs> oh la con! Oh, il est où l'autre là? What's the hurry? Oops. Aïe. Voilà, on fait pas n'importe quoi. Full day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. 25 000. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Non. Whoa, that's Trop cher. expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. Bon, on fait pas n'importe quoi. On va dire euh... 18 000. This price will do. No loss okay. to me for a day's bon. work. Okay. C'est bien voulu. <laughs> On a économisé 7000 là. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Okay. Adventure. Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. This is all you've got? Then no can do. Child? No, no, no. He's putting up the money? Still, no. Wouldn't that mean that I have to make two trips rather than one? Uh, how about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what get me a piece of iron ore. I'll take that as payment to go see that child person. What do you think? Guess we've got no choice. But I was supposed to have enough. I think I had 80,000. Strange. 20 plus 10 plus 18. And he asked for 15. Bah no, it was supposed to go. Well, it's not grave. Euh... Allez, donnez le fer. Have you brought the goods? Oui. Mm, this is good ore. As an adventurer, one must have a trusty weapon by one side. This will work. Once I've finished, I will go and claim my payment. Okay. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. 
A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with her. Alors, euh... ah oui, il faut aller à la pharmacie. Huh. The reception is deserted. And it seems kind of spooky in here. Hello? Is anybody there? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. It's a phantom. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. Go check it out, and Paimon will bring up the rear. Okay. Espèce de peureuse. Ah, mais elle dépasse pas le comptoir. Elle est en train de le dire aussi, Paimon. Euh. Ouais. Jokes on you! Paimon aussi, hein, Paimon. So hide is no restriction. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's. a zombie! Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, uh. Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. C'est une morte vivante. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Là, ils ont traduit Little Girl par mon enfant. Alors ça, c'est fort. Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. <laughs> Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. Since when do customers... 
customers need to do favors for customer service staff. Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Cocoa Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adeptive beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No, just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adeptive beast. What it looks like, don't know. Okay. Where to find it, don't know either. Where it came from, also don't know. Ouais, c'est rien du tout en fait. Elle nous demande un truc assez rien à propos. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? Une légende. <laughs> Je peux pas me téléporter. On va y aller à pied. What's the hurry? Il reste bloqué là. Des fois, il reste bloqué dans les dans les crevasses. Ah, il y a un petit truc qui va me donner un coffre là. Oui, je le veux. Sans le truc qui est juste à côté. Très bien. Oh, il y a un méchant. And I'll be gentle. Come a little closer. You're in for a little. Hey, get her! No one escaped! Uh, uh... Oh, merde, j'avais pas vu qu'elle avait plus de vie, elle. Come a little closer. J'aurais dû aller au... à la statue des 7 avant. Ah, il y en a une autre. Ça m'aide, ça. Don't get frostbite. <rire> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Maybe I wasn't oh, meant for this. What? What's going on? A little shock. Hey. That's cheating. I'll race you there. Ha! 
Mais s'il faut que je le tue comme ça, le machin, euh, il est là. Hein. J'ai fait vraiment n'importe quoi. On va revivre ma, ma voyageuse. Euh, là. Tac, tac, tac. Hop. On va donner un petit nourriture. Petit, petit nourriture. Ah bah, je peux pas. Mais je vais donner un poulet à l'autre. Oui, elle. Ou elle. Elle. Bon, et elle aussi. Voilà. Petit poulet donné. Jean will be upset if she catches us lazing around like this. Il ah, y a un autre coffre, pourquoi I'll race you there. Oui. Hop, faut enflammer ça. Ah, il y en a plusieurs à enflammer. Il y en a beaucoup. Tout, il y en a quatre. Euh, où sont les autres Là-bas. Mmh. Je ne vois pas. Je crois que j'en ai vu un là. Bim Il était caché, les enfoirés. Euh, et le dernier. Ah ah. La question est là-bas. Nickel. Voilà. Maintenant, on va pouvoir aller. Euh, on va faire le la quête. Attends, je crois que j'ai vu un truc pour là. Ah, j'ai l'œil. Je fais plus avoir. Je loupe plus les coffres. Il y a du combat là-dedans. À moins qu'il faille que j'aille plus haut. La baliste Gizong est une machine complexe de conception divine qui ne pourrait voir le jour des mains d'artisans mortels qu'au terme d'un énorme travail. De même, elle ne peut rester une arme véritablement puissante qu'au prix d'un entretien minutieux. Après des siècles de paix, si cet ancien mâle venait à dresser son abominable tête pour plonger le monde une fois de plus dans la guerre, vous aurez besoin de ces pièces détachées. Et de convoquer un bon artisan ayant du caractère pour les assembler. Avis aux utilisateurs de la baliste, les composants des ailes et du corps de l'engin ont été soigneusement préparés et stockés dans l'entrepôt. Le Ces pièces couvrent une utilisation d'un millier d'années. Les pièces les plus délicates, telles que plumes et cordes, ont-elles été rangées dans un coffre spécial Que celui qui en a le besoin se serve comme bon lui semble. Cette baliste constitue un important mécanisme de défense. Veillez, veillez à en prendre soin, euh, comme vous prendriez soin de vous-même, et maniez-la avec précaution. Je pensais pas que c'était aussi long à lire. Est-ce que c'est par là Non. J'ai vu un truc en haut. Je sais pas quoi c'est. Qu'est-ce que c'est C'est un arc It's huge. Paimon can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. After millennia of wear and tear, even adept eye contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? 
Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So... what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Where is that supply post? Here, post. J'avais même pas vu. Fascinating. Ah, the big. Je dis quoi? Je sais pas ce que j'ai récupéré là. Ok, est-ce que les trucs peuvent se casser Non. On ressort, hein. Bien sûr, j'ai cramé. Ah On peut pas ressortir par là. Non, c'était pas ça. Comment je ressors Ah Par la planche. Bah oui. Ha. Allez, on répare tout ça. Ah. These parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there... more nothing. Hey! Oh. Just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you.
Bon, et bah c'est parti. Allez, on leur voit un petit, un petit lapin. Ouh, ça va être chiant ça. Ils ont combien de vie Dodge this Wow, l'autre avec sa massue là. Lui, il a une pelle. Ça va être compliqué ça. Oh, so sorry. Voilà, pas de bêtises. Allez, euh, on va donner un petit peu à manger. Ah, il y en a une, il faut que je la revive aussi. Je pense. Ça c'est quoi Ah ça c'est pas mal. Ça. Closer. Encore 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 Encore
Duro Frostbite. No escape! You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Get him. Dodge us. Ok, on me la donne moi. Pourquoi est-ce qu'il a mouru avec ça Cool it. Il y a un autre. Ah, il est tombé. Dodge this. Ah, c'est bon. Ah, j'ai réussi. Euh... Ou pas. Wanna take for my hammer. You're in for a little shock. Surrender and be gentle. Swing blade. Il est censé être mort. Il est réapparu d'où Dodge this. This moment will be frozen. Ah. 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 Young Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? Merci, merci. C'est vrai que j'ai géré là. Surtout refait vivre un de mes persos. Plus simple. A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adeptus beast, as Chichi put it. Which means... The Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? Eh ouais, j'ai quand même un sacré pouvoir, hein. Je ressuscite les gens. <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Explain that we could not find a Coco Goat and review our next step. <laughs> We did our best, and that's what counts. Bon, euh, faut retourner voir Chichi. Chichi. Ah oui, non, ça me fait remonter. Euh, je vais y aller à pied. Ça va être plus simple. Euh, je viens d'où déjà De par là. Oula, qu'est-ce qui se passe Pourquoi ça a fait ça Ok, trop bizarre. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Coco Goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. 
Only an Adeptabeast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry, I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That- Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Ah. Oh. Tout ça pour du lait de coco? C'est pas vrai. Huh? I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leeward proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. No. Im... Impossible. Oui, c'est ça. Kiki, mais Chi-Chi. Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. I meant that Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. Des herbes accrochées autour du cou. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. <laughs> okay. ah, the medicine... The snake is speaking! <laughs> I prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Whew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Ah! You're good. Aw, too bad the cheating have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number! We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Bon. <laughs> ah, no, just in black. Coco goat. Coco goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. But tout ça, c'est une blague. D'accord. <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. Ah non, tout ça, c'était pas une blague. Ah purée. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick, 
Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. <laughs> Let's say 2,990,000 more. That's like zero difference from 3 million. Hmm. 2,990,000. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Okay, no, 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 no. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Oh? Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Aye, aye. <laughs> Je sais pas s'ils si sont gentils ou pas du coup. Moi je pense que oui hein. Euh... Honnêtement je pense qu'ils sont gentils. Mais c'est trop bizarre d'écouter aux portes comme ça. Pourquoi j'allais par où en fait Ah si, je suis sur le bon chemin. Parce que je vais d'un côté mais... Euh... J'en avais aucune idée. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Ooh, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd? <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided... On va rien gagner parce qu'il a pas de sous. ...to treat you to a meal. <laughs> oh, ah, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. Bon? Eh ben c'était pas mal ça. Invitation à boire. Euh, attendez le moment requis, 18h. Et ben on va avancer à 18h et puis après on... Mince, c'est pas là. C'est là. Euh, heure. Il est quelle heure Ah, il est 3h du mat. <rire> ah oui, d'accord. Hop, confirmé. On avance exprès pour aller boire un coup quand même. Ah non, pour aller manger au restaurant. Du coup, on a loupé le petit déjeuner, le déjeuner, et on va directement au, au dîner. Salut Récipon, ça va Comment ça va Ah, you're here. 
There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Bah écoute, oui, ça va super bien. Je passe une bonne journée. Hey, there's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Ah non, j'ai pas fait de Genshin de la journée. Juste là pour le stream. Sinon, j'en ai fait un peu hier soir. Oh, tranquillement, de mon côté. J'ai fait, euh, j'ai continué l'event en fait. Euh, Je sais pas ce qu'il y a à gagner réellement sur cet event. Mais bon. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold! The glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources Dig through documents, looking for information. Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan, have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia. And we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last, I have found you. You who return from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Qixing. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Okay. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. 
I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. I wish to meet her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Okay. Et voilà, acte 2 terminé. And with ah, that, ça the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. What, we've received an invitation from the Liu at Qixing. Paimon still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. <laughs> an invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. Eh ben nickel. Ah, faut que je sois à niveau d'aventure 28. Ah oui, il y avait un truc qui valait que je fasse. Augmentation de niveau du, du monde aujourd'hui. Je sais pas si c'est une longue euh, quête ou pas. Donc, élévation. Euh, accéder à la quête. Où se trouve-t-elle Ok. Ah, c'est le donjon Ah, c'est le donjon. Ouais, l'event, le, il donne des primogèmes. Ouais, ouais, c'est vrai. C'est pas long, mais ça peut être difficile suivant tes persos. Donc, entrer dans les ruines. Allons-y. Bon, qu'est-ce qu'il faut euh... Ah, faut que j'en fasse trois Ah non, juste celui-là. Il a le, le petit, la petite indication. Éliminer tous les monstres des ruines. Donc, euh, éléments recommandés. Et il faut que je, f... je mette l'eau aussi. J'avais jamais vu qu'il y avait des éléments recommandés. Euh, C'est elle qu'il faut que j'enlève. Tac. Wish me luck. Moi, je dis aller à la one again. Ok, bon. Ok, bon ça, ça va. Ah, oh, il y avait une pomme. Ah, rien. Hein. Euh, sur les premiers donjons, ça peut être bloquant, mais ils ont changé ça sur les autres régions. Qu'est-ce qu'ils ont changé Regardez, il y a un petit lapin. <rire> Ready, steady, go. <rire> Dodge this. Ah. 
avoir un élément en particulier pour activer un puzzle. Ah oui, d'accord, ok. Oui, c'est vrai que des fois, il y a besoin de, bah, de certains éléments pour activer des pièces dans un donjon. C'est vrai, c'est vrai. La dernière fois, je m'étais retrouvée un petit peu... Euh, un petit peu bête. Quand j'avais pris euh, l'autre, la... Euh, Chao, je sais plus comment elle s'appelle. Elle a un petit nounours à la place de Ember. Et j'avais regretté très très vite. Alors, c'est quoi ça C'est des trampolines. Peut-être. Ouh, ça c'est un laser qui va me tuer. J'aurais peut-être pas dû me mettre là. Hop, c'est bon. Foiré. Juste tombe dans le vide. Pas enfin, moi. Ouf, je suis chaud. Oh mince, il est au-dessus. Il est tombé ou pas Non. Encore. Oui Ciao Alors c'est quoi ça Ah oh, c'est tout Je crois qu'il n'y a pas quelque chose aux alentours mais non il n'y a rien. Ça va, ça va. Ouh il y a un défi qui va pas me plaire à mes vies. Ah Shining, oui c'est ça. C'était elle que j'avais regretté d'avoir pris. Ok, un de moi. Let's dance. Cool it. What's the Elle les tue avec son vent. Hop. Et les petites caisses à casser, ça c'est bien. Tu as utilisé tes résines. Non J'ai pas utilisé mes résines. J'ai toujours pas fait de donjon. C'est ça ta question. Euh, bah y'a pas de coffre ici. Je pensais. Ah, là-bas aussi y'a des caisses. Mais là, je suis pas en train d'utiliser une résine en faisant ce donjon. Je veux un coffre Pas de coffre ici. Non. Bah pourquoi celui-là il utilise pas de résine Je comprends pas. Oh là là, je vais mourir. J'ai réussi Ah bah ben j'ai réussi La meilleure façon d'apprendre à connaître quelqu'un... Merde J'ai pas eu le temps de lire. Niveau 27 d'aventure Faut faire les boss sur la map. 
Julia fait partie de l'histoire. Ok. Bah je... Pourtant j'ai fait des boss euh, il y a pas longtemps. Bah hier, j'ai fait des boss. Et du coup les résines c'est tous les jours, elles reviennent en fait. Bon bah voilà. Bon ça va en fait, c'était simple. Merci Ouais ça a été en fait. Je pensais que j'allais mettre plus de temps que ça. Bon j'ai mis euh, 10 minutes. C'est bien. Je vais m'arrêter là. Je vais récupérer mes petits succès et tout, tout tranquillou. Bon, j'ai même pas fait mes quêtes quotidiennes, tant pis. Ouais, la résine se recharge. Ok. Bon bah... Tant mieux. Donc en fait, tu fais... Euh... Tu fais plein de donjons, toi. Ouais, j'ai plus rien, là. Hop, j'ai pas récupéré mes... Ma connexion, mes connexions. Mmh. Guide d'amélioration. Ouais, je reviendrai ça plus tard. Hop, d'autres petites quêtes. Ouais, il y a plein de petits cadeaux. Résine plus quête quotidienne. Ah ouais. Donc en fait, tu fais euh, tout le temps des, des boss. Si je comprends bien. Hein Attends. C'est quoi ça J'ai cliqué sur quoi là Récupérer les récompenses. Oui, j'ai. Ok. Hop. Tac. Et ben on va se téléporter. Après, au niveau d'aventure 45, on a besoin d'artefacts pour améliorer ses persos. Ah, je comprends mieux. Pour le moment, j'ai pas besoin, moi. Donc, ça veut dire, euh, tu, tu fais. Euh... Merde, comment il s'appelle là Le forgeron Ad Astra Abyssosk. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. J'ai pas fait mes quêtes quotidiennes aujourd'hui. Alors là, j'ai pas compris. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Non, les artefacts, c'est les donjons. Ah, ok. Hop. Ça c'est pas mal. Et la dernière chose c'était quoi Abyssa. Ah oui, les expéditions. Quand tu fais l'histoire, ça valide les quêtes quotidiennes. Bon, ouais, mais je savais pas. En fait, j'ai même pas besoin de faire toutes les quêtes quotidiennes qu'ils me proposent. C'est bien ça. Top. Au moins, je m'embêterai pas la prochaine fois. Là, il n'y a plus rien. Ça, c'est quoi déjà Ah oui, les annonces, non, on s'en fout. Hop, je peux améliorer un personnage, je pense. Ah, constellation. On récupère la constellation. Ça a paru récemment pour pas saouler les joueurs. Ah, bah tant mieux. Moi, ça m'arrange. <rire> Euh, Est-ce que je peux... Alors, elle, elle est à quel niveau Non, je peux pas à ça. Elle est niveau 40. D'ailleurs, maintenant, je peux élever mes persos au plus haut, non Ouais, bon, enfin, il me faut tout, mais euh, ouais, je peux. Euh, C'est elle qui est pas au bon niveau. Ouais, mais je peux pas encore. Bon, tant pis. Eh ben, C'est plutôt pas mal, tout ça. Et eh ben, je vais m'arrêter là pour ce soir. Parce que demain matin, je me lève tôt et de la route. Bon, ça va, pas trop, pas trop de route, mais quand même. Ouais, dès, le, dès le réveil, là, ça va, ça va piquer un petit peu. Mais bon. Ouais, bonne soirée, du coup, à tous. Bonne nuit. Dormez bien. <rire> et puis, on se retrouve euh, vendredi soir. Pas avant. Bon courage à vous aussi, hein. 
Parce qu'il n'y euh, a pas que moi qui, qui taffe. Euh, stream, euh, non, vendredi soir. Ah, mon chip <rire> Allez <rire> Bonne soirée à vendredi Salut, salut